I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com, and it is uh, Friday, February 19th. I want to look at Ulta today. I've liked this stock uh, for a long time, and I'm starting to not like it now. And you can see why, but I'm going to go ahead and point it out. This is the 200-day moving average right here. We got a quick sell-off back on August 24th. Everything was selling except the inverse ETFs, flash crash. Um, and then another pullback to the 200 here. Each time, you know, this thing bounced. These are called, uh, what I call anyway, shot across the bow. Shots across the bow where the stock falls below a level where it's really kind of not supposed to fall, but then it rebounds. And then later, you look back at those technical events like this, excuse, not that, like that, and even like that, and you say, hmm, this looks like an early warning sign from the bears. In other words, a shot across the bow of the bull's boat um, that something was wrong. So by the time this thing knifes through the 200 day again, I'm looking at this as a stock that you don't want to hold anymore. And sorry for you Altarians, um, but the better days have come and gone. Um, so we get a breakdown here and then a rebound and could not regain the 200 day moving average could not regain it that's a problem now we've just hit a new low on Friday you know and another one on Thursday that we really had not seen since that August 24th crash and look here at the volume big selling volume on these two days so this is a thing I think it's not in a great position to short right now just because of the zigzag. You want to actually short um, weak stocks, stocks that are breaking down, and you want to short them on strength. So here, you'd kind of like to see the stock rally a bit first, but look at the weekly chart. Okay, This is a kind of a big deal, the way this stock is traded down. Um, this is what you can do. You take this last low here prior to the breakdown and then you take the high okay so extend these down look over to the left hand side of the screen here in the little inset box okay 34.55 we'll just say 35 bucks that is the length or the distance between the top and this last low here right there okay about 35 bucks so then we take this low where this thing was now that it's broken down and we extend it down 35 bucks what do we get about 116 I'm gonna come up a little bit we're gonna look at the August 24th low here um, and it actually was August 24th this is a weekly chart we're gonna look at the August 24th low and pick 120 as a price target so from here on a percentage basis it's about another 20 percent drop I'm not looking for that tomorrow which since I'm doing this on Friday that's a pretty safe bet tomorrow's Saturday but I'm not looking for it next week maybe not even next month though I do know this um, the company reports earnings in early March um, March 10th is what I've got on my calendar so watch and see how the stock trades between now and then all bets could be off as far as my price target um, prior to earnings, but from a technical standpoint, right here, right now, this is a stock that you want to sell into strength. Hopefully, and I mean this, hopefully this stock will go in the toilet so far, so fast, that then prior to earnings, we'll look at this and it's so oversold, I'll come back here in this venue and say, you know what, you want to buy this stock prior to earnings because all the selling has already taken place all the bad news has already been factored in it's time to buy obviously I'm not looking at that now I'm looking at a stock that you really want to be selling and then look to buy it back uh, or cover your short at lower prices okay uh, members over to the weekend update we're looking at leisure or shall we say leisure stocks as well as uh, some high yielding ones and various others that I think are going to make you money.